welcome to this Truth Reviews little tutorial um, because you are here because you have the choice of getting something like this, the Samsung T5, which can be had for about £250-£300 if you shop around. Um, I know the retail recommended retail price is a lot higher than that, but you can get it for about that price if you shop around. Um, and this read and writes around 500 megabytes per second. Or you can have something like this, which is much more rugged, about the same price. Um, it has a heatsink, the blue that you see on the inside, much more rugged, about the same price as I said, and about the same performance, probably about 10 megabytes slower per second compared to the Samsung T5s that you see. Or you want a lot more speed, so you go for something like this, the Samsung X5. Um, looks wise, I'm not a huge fan. Sounds plasticky. A lot of people say it's supposed to look like a sleek, sports car it feels more like a cheap sports car to me but it is by far the fastest of the lot um oh and this rubber design at the bottom that's supposed to stop it from sliding around doesn't work um so this is by far the most expensive of the lot if you get a two terabyte one of these on amazon at the moment um as of may 2019 they're going for around 900 pounds that means you can get that and that and that all two terabytes and still have about 150 pounds left over for the same price as this but the speed oh my god the speed now before we get on to the actual um before we get on to the actual tutorial i just want you to know if you're using final cut and or any editing software and this if you're using something like this already and you think that by switching over to this it's going to stop any um, sort of stuttering or you're not going to need to render out files which you needed to render out before or create proxies or optimize your files like you did before you're wrong because i have the macbook pro 2018 with a vega 20 graphics card 32 gigabytes ram i9 processor and the only difference I've noticed between these two in editing is literally when you initially import, this imports at about 2,300 megabytes per second, this imports at about 500. Other than that, in day-to-day -day use, I've noticed very, very little difference between the two. However, if you're still looking to get one of these, I've got a way where you can get the exact same one for far, far less. Now, if you see this, this is actually a 500 gigabyte model. However, Inside is a two terabyte um, SSD, which saved us a huge amount of money. Since the SSD inside this is pretty much the exact same as the Samsung Evo 970. So we bought the 500 gigabyte version, swapped out the insides, and now we have essentially the two terabyte version for less than half the price. This cost us 180 pounds, the Samsung 970 Evo, we got off eBay brand new for £299, so for £480 um, we ended up getting the 2TB model instead of £900. Take a look at how we managed to do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove that red tab that you see there. I just used a screwdriver to pry it up. There's two tabs holding it on the side. You literally just pull on this and it'll come away. Um, it's pretty easy to do, just be a little bit delicate so you don't snap the tabs, but once that comes off, there's just a bit of glue holding it there. I just smoothed that back out with my finger before I reattached it. Two Phillips head screws and one underneath there um, that you peel off the sticker to remove. Just a normal Phillips head screwdriver, you don't need any fancy screwdrivers for this. So we remove those two and now we're going to remove the final head there, which leads us to here. This is what you see on the inside, that's the bottom. And this has a bunch of screws that we need to remove. Again, just normal Phillips heads that we're gonna remove. Once those are removed, um, on the other side, we have the drive, the 500 gigabyte that's already in there. And that big piece of metal underneath it is the heat sink. Um, the drive is actually held down with a screw and there's some adhesive uh, slash heat um, sink underneath it. This adhesive, was very tricky to remove. I was a little bit worried I might actually snap the drive at one stage because it was very, very um, difficult to remove because it was stuck on there so hard, but managed to get it off. And now what we need to do is put in our Samsung Evo in the same slot. Um, it's gonna peel that off and stick it onto our Samsung Evo, which is what I've done here. 
and it's very easy you just slot in the samsung evo there's only one way that it fits in and we put everything back together you just turn that board upside down and put it back in we're going to put the five screws back in um, attach the bottom back on that's the old drive that we can sell on ebay and we have our drive over here for less than half the price um, first thing we're going to do is when you attach the drive it will probably ask you to initialize it the first time so we're going to go ahead and just format the drive we're going to use apple afps format and we're going to format the drive and do a speed test we're just going to name it x5 and we're going to see how it compares to the drive that actually came pre-installed inside um, and Funnily enough, we're getting about 100 megabytes more on the read and about 50 megabytes more on the right compared to the drive that was inside it that we tested beforehand. Now, one thing to be cautious of is the speed does drop if you do huge file transfers of over 50 meg, uh, 50 gigabytes, sorry. And I'm just putting a little clip of me here holding it in my hand because it was a pretty cold day and this thing gets so incredibly hot that I literally use it as a hand warmer if I'm out on the field and it gets really cold because I can't express how hot this gets. I actually got worried at how hot it got and called Samsung to make sure this was normal and it is. So as I said, it won't fix all your issues. If you've had to render files before because of drop frames, this isn't gonna fix that. Even on the latest MacBook, if you're using intensive codecs, this will not fix that. If you need to transcode and you don't mind waiting a few minutes, maybe go for the Samsung X5 or go for the G drive. They're far, far cheaper. You can get, even with our little hack here, you can, it still costs twice as much as one of these. Um, so make, make the decision on what's important to you. But if, tra if you're transferring files all day, then this would be a good investment. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked, please subscribe. It really does help us out. Thank you for taking the time to watch and hope to see you soon.